This year, the Marine Corps is celebrating 75 years of reserve female Marines in the Corps. Private Ofa Mae Johnson was the first female to enlist into the Marine Corps in 1918, and after her, 305 women joined. It wasn't until 1943 that Congress allowed President Franklin D. Roosevelt to sign a law creating the Marine Corps Women Reservist. The first female to join the reserves was born in Nemecolon, Pennsylvania. Her name was Private Lucille McLaren. Before joining the Marine Corps, February 13, 1943, she was a stenographer in the War Department in Washington, D.C. Hundreds of women like Private McLaren overcame many hardships in boot camp, just like the males, and never once were they considered Marines in the eyes of the Corps. They were originally limited to non-combat roles, predominantly in clerical positions. However, some worked as parachute riggers, mechanics, radio operators, welders, and more. Private Marjorie Treadway Flack joined the Marine Corps in April 1943, two months after formation of the Women Reserves. Although the Marine Corps wanted her to serve as a secretary, she was determined to show her patriotism. So after boot camp, she went to parachute material school, where she learned how to be a pararigger for the Marine Corps until she separated in 1946. Today, women in the Corps are able to work in a wide variety of occupations, ranging from aviation, intel, ground combat and other high-stress and high-demand careers throughout the Marine Corps. The first African-American female retired colonel, Gilda A. Jackson, says, There have been a lot of changes, and I think they're changes for the good, because a lot of our young Marines, especially our female Marines, they want to be known as Marines, and it's important. Now, 75 years later, both women and men serve side by side in every clime and place under the same title, Marine.